on this deck we have two problematic stormwater catchments that seem to be causing damp in the wall downstairs. Okay, so going into the right hand catchment. Going into the first catchment there's quite a large cement area going into a PVC reducer with no real seal between the two materials. So we apply an epoxy seal all the way from the catchment down through the PVC reducer and to the catchment at the bottom to create a single seal all the way through. The first catchment is complete and we have a nice hard epoxy coating joining all the materials then around the bends down the downpipe and to the outlet at the bottom. Coated all the way through moving on to the second catchment. Once again we've got a PVC reducer with some sharp edges water's probably getting in and you can see the joint on the pipe over there. So we carry out the same process on the second stormwater catchment by applying an epoxy seal to the actual catchment all the way through to connect all the joints. Once dried, we have a nice rock hard coating all the way through the joints, down the pipe and out the outlet at the, the bottom. The pipe's coming down and then it looks like the pipe is a bit smaller than the fitting or the fitting was squished. So the water's coming through and then it's probably flowing out a little bit there. To seal the large gap at the bottom of this down pipe, I need to pump some foam into the large gap, let it expand and dry, and then once it's dry, I can cut the excess out and do a smooth coating on the surface. And then to do a final coat on top of the filled gap. We move to the third catchment. Coming from the top balcony, we find a stone sitting at the bottom bend in the column. It looks like there's a hole at the bottom of the pipe as it goes into the wall. So there was a piece of cement that dropped down and punched a hole in the bottom of this pipe. The problem is there's a lot of cement in there. We can't even get the camera in. I'm going to start the miller up and see if we can drill through that and then maybe we seal the pipe while we're here. We are going to go all the way up to get to the top to cut out that cement. Once the down pipe was sufficiently cleared and most of the cement work was cut out, we were able to fill the cracked fitting at the bottom of the pipe with expanding foam. Once the foam had sufficiently dried, we could use the chain to cut it smooth with the edge of the pipe. We applied some epoxy to the smooth surface and the final piece was completed.